It, well, no. yeah. it, it indeed is. Still very dark. Uh, yeah, it is. But, uh, you know, this picture really telling, and I wanted to showcase this uh, picture uh, specifically because on the left side of your screen, you could actually see that the lights are lighting up some of the roadways, and some of those roadways are actually a little saturated to get your Monday morning started. So I did see that we are seeing some light rain, and Julian is one of those neighborhoods that's currently seeing some light shower activity. Any shower activity that we are seeing this morning, again, very scattered and not impressive to say the least. Again, it could impact travel, however, on the 15. So it looks like the higher in elevation you go localized uh, areas, including Escondido Valley Center, you could see again some light shower activity and that will pretty much be the case at least for the next few hours or so. It is all thanks to this low pressure system. It's going to continue to dip south a little far east and it's going to bring some impressive rain and snow to parts of the state, including northern central California. In fact, I saw some of the snow totals in Tahoe and Mammoth and their uh, snow totals range anywhere from 14 to 22 inches. Again, we're hoping that the system dives a little more south to bring us our share of snow and rain as well, but chances are looking pretty slim. So rain fat rain chance future cast again. We're anywhere from a five 10% range as far as rain goes, and then that number really takes a jump this evening around the 1 30 a.m. hour. So again, as you head out for your Tuesday morning commute, you could once again wake up to saturated roadways, some rain on the windshield with the return of onshore flow. We're also going to see very high winds, especially for the eastern slopes of the mountain areas and the deserts. Notice the color contour. The maroon colors indicates that we could see gusts exceeding anywhere from 40 50 miles per hour. And in addition to the high winds and the showers, we're also going to be very cold over the next several days. Highs are going to struggle, going to struggle to get above 65, not only for the beach communities, but for the inland areas as well. In fact, it looks like tomorrow will be the coolest day for the inland neighborhoods in the 50s. Overnight lows are also going to get chilly as well. We're talking about Wednesday night overnight lows dipping to the 40s for the inland valleys. Desert areas in the meantime this afternoon will be in the low 70s and then we drop about 5 to 10 degrees or so by tomorrow and we'll stay in this pattern of the mid to upper 60s at least through the weekend.